What's up, friends? It's Josh, and I'm not gonna leave this shop until I land this trick. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know I'm into the jibby, playful, just kind of messing around type of riding. For one, I think it's a lot of fun, but for two, I think it has a lot of carryover to the stuff you're doing on a trail ride. And for three, you can do it really anytime, anywhere. Today's daylight savings, so it's 6 p.m. It's already dark outside. There's about an inch of snow on the ground and more is coming down now. So it's not a day that I could get out and go for a trail ride or hit the skate park. So instead, I'm just gonna hold up in my father-in-law's shop and I'm gonna try to learn a trick that a good friend of mine, Johnny, showed me a couple months ago. What he does is go into a stoppy, then pivots back onto his back wheel, puts his back foot onto his back tire, and then does a crank flip with his front foot and comes back down to the ground. I've played around with this trick a couple times before, really just enough to figure out that, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> but today I've decided that I'm not gonna leave this shop until I land it. So Johnny, this one's for you. The rest of you guys, I'm gonna give you some tips on what I learned while practicing it. So if you wanna go try this out too, call it like the ultimate parking lot jib, you can learn it at home and show off to all your friends at the trailhead. So with that said, hopefully I'm not in here all night long. I'm gonna go ahead and start trying it out. Whenever I'm learning a new trick, I like to break it down into smaller parts. For this one, that first part was the front wheel to back wheel transfer, which is honestly pretty easy. It just came down to getting good timing with the body weight transition and then of course the front and back brake. From there I went on to what I thought would be the crux of the move, and that was getting your back foot onto that back tire and then getting the foot back onto the pedal again. That's it. I was really struggling with getting my back foot back onto the pedal without losing my balance. I thought that looking at my pedal would help with that. I think I just figured out that I actually need to be looking forward. So just trust that my foot will find the pedal and keep my eyes forward so I don't lose my balance. Did it twice in a row and try to get three times in a row and then allowed the crane foot. Wish me luck. As you can see, I spent a lot of time working on this and as we'll talk about more later on, I think I probably put a little more emphasis here than I really needed to. Two. Oh, I'm gonna count that. Just about three times in a row of doing the stoppy with the back foot on the back tire. Time to start trying the crank foot. But first, I really hope one of these fridges has water in it because I forgot to bring it in. <sighs> good. So if you've never done a crank flip, I don't know if you can even see my foot right now. What I'm doing is I'm pointing my toe down and scooping up with it. Because my back foot's gonna be on my back wheel, I won't be able to use that foot to push down on the crank. So instead it's all gonna be in this scoop. Scooping around, wow, I'm getting worse and worse. Here we go. Like that. Let's try it. As I was learning this part of the trick, I definitely found the hardest part to be the balance point. I highly recommend taking some extra time to practice balancing on that back wheel before moving on to the crank flip. Oh, there we go. I did a couple ones before that, but that one I freaking stomped, so I'm stoked. Probably been about a half hour since I started, maybe 45 minutes, but I think I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna take the camera off of that tripod, move the tripod around a little bit, get a couple more angles, and then I'll wrap it up. But hey, at least I'm allowed to leave the garage. So uh, I think I'm gonna go use that. So 
I just wrapped up filming that a few more times from a few different angles. I think I probably landed it, I don't know, seven, eight, nine times now. Um, so feeling pretty consistent. I did get one pretty gnarly shinner, but, but yeah, it was pretty fun to learn. I think I actually learned it a little bit more quickly than I thought. Um, and hopefully the pointers I gave you throughout the video are helpful for you. To recap some of the stuff that I just talked about, what I found while learning that, the most important thing was to get your balance point down on your back wheel. I spent a lot of time practicing that kind of second step of doing the stoppy to wheelie to then getting your back foot on and getting it back on the pedal. It turns out that wasn't really even a very necessary part because um, really once you catch the crank flip with your front foot, you can kind of just land and let your back foot slide on down. Um, getting the back foot onto the pedal was really not an issue. But what was, was staying in that balance point long enough to get the full crank flip around, but then not looping out and, and falling backwards off the bike, being able to catch it and get back down to the ground. So as you're working on this trick, I would say that's the toughest part. It's just getting in that balance point and being able to take it back down to the ground again. Now, prereqs before you learn this trick, obviously you should be pretty good at track stands. That's just balancing on your bike without any forwards or backwards motion. After that, you should be pretty good at stoppies. That's pulling your front brake, getting up on that front wheel, landing back and riding away again, uh, because that's kind of the first half of the trick. Third, uh, get used to balancing back on your back wheel. And then the last prereq that I'd recommend is just being able to do a crate flip. Now, you don't have to do it in a bunny hop or off a jump. If you can just do it sitting down in your seat and just crank flip, that'll help you a ton with learning this trick. So get those prereqs down, then go find a nice level spot, spend an hour or two, and uh, you'll learn this trick. From here on out, I'm gonna affectionately call it the Johnny after my good friend, JB, the MVP. If you're not following him on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. He's a rad mountain biker. He's a rad snowboarder, just a really cool guy. So that's all for this video. I'm officially unlocked from the shop. If you like this idea, the whole locked in to learn the trick, let me know in the comments and let me know what other trick you think I should learn over the course of the winter because I'm probably gonna be riding in this shop a lot. As always, it's super helpful. If you like this video, leave a comment telling us what you think. And then of course, subscribe to our channel. Hopefully this snow will melt soon and we'll see you out there on the trail.